Good morning. Today I will be discussing about the industrial microbiology. Firstly, what is industrial microbiology? Industrial microbiology is the branch of microbiology that deals with all forms of microbiology related to the economic aspect. Economic aspect means the all the uh, it is the exploitation of microorganisms for the production of large scale end products including antibiotics and other economically valuable compounds. Now, uh, microorganisms, there are certain microorganisms which are used in the production of various economic, uh, economically important substances. So, and they are ca categorized in the uh, three different classes. First one is uh, bacteria, second one is your yeast and third one is mold. Firstly, we will discuss about the microorganisms and the industry. There are different microorganisms which are used for the production of antibiotics in like penicillin, streptomycin, canamycin and erythromycin. Then uh, they are used, certain microorganisms they are used in the treatment of various disorders and diseases. Others are used as a solvents and chemicals, whereas some of them are used in the, as an intermediate for the production of other substances like chemicals. Now, the overall reaction that takes place for the, that characterizes the production of substances, it is as follows. Firstly, the microorganism, it, it is treated with the raw material that is the substrate. Raw material, uh, the substrate is used mainly the major raw materials. It depends on the from the uh, microorganism to microorganism. Like in case of lactic acid production, whey is used as a raw material. It gives rise to the new product that is the new end product. In case of lactic acid, the microorganism used is the bacteria and in particularly microorganism lactobacillus bulgaricus is used. It along with the uh, raw material whey which is a dairy product, whey is generally used for the production of lactic acid and it is uh, a dairy waste product. It gives rise to the lactic acid. Now next, there are the major classes of uh, products which are being produced by the microorganism. They may be classified into four classes. First one is the microbial cells. There are certain microbial cells which act themselves as a economically valuable compound. Then secondly, there are uh, large molecules including enzymes. which includes the enzymes including L-lysine and L-glutamic acid, they themselves are used as food supplements. Then third category is the primary metabolites. Primary metabolites are the uh, compounds that are involved in the growth and development of the cell. And last category is the secondary metabolites. Secondary metabolites, they are generally not directly involved in the uh, growth and development of the cell, rather they are, they play an important ecological role. Secondary metabolites include dextrans, example is uh, dextran, dextran it is used as a lubricating agent in eye drops and it is also used in increasing the blood plasma membrane as well as in increasing the blood glucose level. Next, industries, there, the, there are major groups of industries which have been categorized into main, mainly seven types. The first category in, in the disease, uh, industries is, first one is pharmaceutical chemicals. Second one is commercially valuable compounds. commercially valuable compounds. These compounds includes all the solvents and chemicals. 
solvents and chemicals and enzymes third category uh, the third group which is has been categorized as vaccines that are also known as the immunizing agents so the first component was uh, the first vaccine which was discovered it was discovered in the year 1982 and it was developed for hepatitis b hepatitis b vaccine and it was developed by using recombinant dna technology the next group of the industry includes the food supplements the food supplements this includes all the microbial proteins microbial mass production of proteins occur and the major example is single cell protein single cell protein it is obtained from the methane oxidizing bacteria and it is used as a protein sub supplement the fifth group of the industries uh, include deturation of different paints in chemical deturation of paints by using different microorganisms then sixth one is analytical microbiology in analytical microbiology different assays are performed like for example uh, biotin it is assayed by using the uh, yeast that is saccharomyces carl bergensis in analytical microbiology the first different assays which are perfume performed are the assays and the microorganism involved first biotin biotin is generally assayed by using yeast which is saccharomyces carl bergensis then then the next product that is uh, the microorganism used to assay the next product is the amino acids amino acids are used they are assayed by using the bacterium and the bacterium involved is the streptomyces species and the next one is neurospora crassa which is a mold this is used in the assaying of certain vitamins neurospora crassa which is a mold so a large number of microorganisms and species they have been found like protozoa algae bacteria and certain viruses they are also used in the production of economically valuable compounds and after once a species of an organism has been selected the next step in the procedure is the uh, research work the research work is carried out to undertake to uh, to make a change in the substrate decomposition to increase the rate through for uh, in getting the higher rate of substrate decomposition and in higher which results further results in the higher yield of the end product and generally the uh, this and this these ends they are achieved by making improvements in the culture media and by improving the cultural media conditions and by uh, selecting the new strains and the last one which uh, approach which we use is the development of new mutants mutants are generally the organisms uh, that uh, have the modified gene so by uh, employing all these approaches we can obtain the higher yield of the end product now next comes industrial uses of microorganisms so the industrial uses of micro they can be broadly classified into three categories for the first one is the industrial uses of bacteria uh, this involves first one is your lactic acid production first product formed is lactic acid production the second one is vinegar production
and the third one are the different amino acids and the amino major two amino acids are being produced by using bacteria first one is l lysine which is produced by glutamicum bacteria and the second one is l glutamic acid which is produced by brevi bacterium apart from lactic acid production vinegar production amino acid production there are certain hormones which are being produced by bacteria and this involves mainly the uh, recombinant dna technology and the various enzymes which are hormones which are being produced are uh, human growth hormone that is somatostatin and human insulin which is all these are produced by different varieties of recombinant dna e coli so the microorganism involved in the production of various hormones is the e coli and the approach followed is the genetic engineering the next group is the uh, of yeast the next next group involves the yeast and it involves the production of various alcohols alcohol fermentation and yeast they are also involved in bakers yeast they are used as food supplements and feed supplements and they are also used as food yeast so the second one is bakers yeast which is consumed as a food food yeast generally involves single cell protein as i have discussed earlier so single cell protein they are used as microbial they are used by microbial mass production of proteins and they are generated by methane oxidizing bacteria like methanococcus and methanothermus the last group is the molds and it is involved in the fungi group and the molds uh, the different components produced by molds are penicillin which is an antibiotic and it is produced by the mold penicillium chrysogenum the next product there are certain enzymes also that are being produced by molds and apart from the antibiotics another uh, important compound that is produced by mold is your citric acid citric acid is produced by the mold aspergillus niger let's come to the bacterial use of that is industrial use of bacteria so first one is the lactic acid production lactic acid is uh, the iupac name of lactic acid is 2 hydroxy propanoic acid and it is gen it is produced by the bacterium lactobacillus bulgaricus uh, certain other bacteria are also used like bacillus del del brucai and bacillus cassi and bacillus uh, lacto lactai bacilli the first major step which involves the uh, lactic acid production that is involved in lactic acid production is the conversion of carbohydrates into glucose the first major step is the conversion of lactose which is a carbohydrate the carbohydrate that is present in lactic acid is the lactose that is being converted into the end product lactic acid so the carbo lactose is the main source of carbohydrate in lactic acid that is being hydrolyzed into the lactic acid after certain acidic and enzymatic treatment involved now the uh, microbiological analytical experiments that are being performed are analytical microbiology let's come back to the analytical microbiology so an antibiotic requires the different type of assays so different types of assays are being produced by using different bacteria as i told you earlier so antibiotic the development of an antibiotic requires different assays so the first step the first major assay that is being performed is the ferment during fermentation of an antibiotic the next 
is the extraction procedure. So, the assay is required in the extraction position extraction procedure also. The third step is the in vivo in vitro the next assay which is is the in vivo in vitro and vivo they are the both different terms in vitro generally they are produced in the uh, they are carried out in the laboratory and in vivo they are produced performed on the animal model and the most major commonly used animal model is the mice then after the in vivo next comes the pharmacology the drug designing then after the pharmacology next procedure that involves assaying is production and development and then after the production and development step the next assay which is performed is at the stage of clinical evaluation so the next step that involves assaying is clinical evaluation and the last step major step involved in assaying is the market and the development where the product is being marketed by the industry thank you